As we wrap up this conference with the now traditional stand-up comedy night, who better to MC than one of the best female comics in the business? From Carson, Leno, and Letterman to Kimmel, Ferguson, and Fallon, and then there were, of course, the HBO, Comedy Central, Showtime specials, and that America's Got Talent semi-finalist win. And of course, the show she produces featuring local comics in LA, locally grown comedy at the East Spot Lounge in Studio City. Wendy Liebman has stolen the laughs and the hearts of audiences and fellow comics with her comedy, but also with her support of every single person here and in the comedy world. Now next week, I happen to know that Wendy is headlining in Vegas. But tonight she's headlining here, and let's face it, we can give Vegas a real run for its money. Wendy Liebman, everyone. This is my second time here. I've had the greatest time. I never want to leave. I can't wait to come back. There's so much laundry at home. Um, I, I've been doing this 33 years, and I still didn't know what to wear tonight, uh, obviously. Um, I never know what to wear. I got an obscene phone call. The guy was like, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? And I'm like, I can't decide. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yeah, I never do know what to wear. I, I always wear black, because I'm from New York. I always wear black. And my mom goes, why do you always dress like a mime? And <laughs> I'm like, uh, <laughs> I love my mom, we're very close genetically, and I got um, my sense of humor from my mother, and that's why she doesn't have one anymore. I am 48 years old. I should be able to say whatever I want, right? Um, you know, now that I'm 48, I forget things, like um, that I'm 52. for two years now, and I've been um, <laughs> telling that joke for five. So I, <laughs> I'm 53, final answer. I'm very, very immature for a 54-year-old woman, <laughs> according to my pediatrician, but he's such a stupid head. I am 55 years old. I am, they say I'm past my sexual peak, right? And uh, I'm definitely past my credit limit, but uh, even my cash has been bouncing. I went to get a personal loan. The guy was like, well, what is it for? And I'm like, it's personal. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> Can't believe I'm still asking my father for money at 56 years old. I am, I'm 57, Google it, Google it, Google it. Uh, yeah, now, you can't lie anymore. I am 57, and now, now when guys are staring at my breasts, I'm like, hey, buddy, they're down there. <laughs> so since last time, two years ago, uh, I, was, uh, I, I found out that I have dyslexia, and I am dyslexic, and tacklose and laudorant. I met my husband online uh, at the supermarket, and he was checking me out, and then, um, then he bagged me. But you know what? We've been married 15 years this month, and yeah, I know, I can't believe it. I should friend him on Facebook or something. Um, but uh, he's a writer. He wrote on a show called Boy Meets World. I don't know if you know that shit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a writer too, I write, um, they're mostly Czechs, um, a lot of fiction. I got a bikini, I have a bikini, it's a three piece. It's a uh, top, a bottom, and a blindfold for everybody else. <laughs> Friend of mine recently suggested that I go on a diet, and um, so since then I've lost one friend. Yeah, I don't even weigh myself anymore. If I have to, I have to take everything off. I even take out my contacts. And then I can't read the numbers anyway. But um, 
But somebody at the airport, uh, not this trip, but the trip before, asked me if I was pregnant. I don't know. Uh, well, cause I'm wearing Spanx. But um, I was like, no, but I'm expecting an apology. <laughs> Never ask a woman if she's pregnant, right? Even if she's crowning, it's not worth it. I can't have kids, uh, according to my lease, but I had never, um, I'll tell you more about my stepkids. I don't have kids, but my husband has two sons from a previous poker game, and they, they are the loves of my life, my stepsons. They are 12 and 15, I think. And um, now they're older now, they're in their 20s, but when they were really little, I remember them saying, really communicating with me, saying, um, for the first time, they were like, I don't have to listen to you. Uh, you're not my mother, <laughs> you know, because they heard my husband saying that to me. <laughs> and my brother, uh, he went to college in Florida, uh, Florida State in, in the 80s, and now he's a senior. And he's in graduate school. He is a um, philosophy major. He has no idea why. <laughs> Um, but he was, the, he was actually the smart one in my family because he was adopted. Like somebody left him um, on the back doorstep when he was a baby and my parents found him when he was like 16 because um, they didn't use that door. So um, <laughs> check your back door. When you go home, you could have a brother. When my husband um, proposed, um, it was so romantic. Um, I, I just have to tell you, okay, um, he turned off the TV. <laughs> well, he muted it, he muted it um, during halftime, but the point is, it was my first engagement ring, probably my last, but j my first engagement ring, and um, although my boyfriend before him had given me a piece of coal, and he told me that he would marry me when it turned into a diamond from all the pressure I was putting on him. <laughs> I wore braces for many years. And now I keep my orthodontist on a retainer. But uh, <laughs> don't even encourage me. OK. Uh, but I do have to go to the doctor on Tuesday uh, because I've been feeling a little bit attracted to him. And um, <laughs> he's not into me. But I'm going to ask for a second opinion. I. Uh, I thought casual Friday meant I could come in on Monday. Like, I had no, um, <laughs> but then I was a secretary at one company for six years, and I would spend all day filing and filing my nails and everything, and I had a um, type a lot. What's an average typing speed? Do they even count that anymore? Like 20, 25 <laughs> words? 60, 75 a day? I didn't have a computer. This is this was the 80s. We didn't have computers in my office. And can you imagine your job without solitaire? Like I had <laughs> to bring my own cards. Uh, they dressed up. My I dressed up one time for my my husband asked me to dress up for him as a nurse because um, that was his fantasy. You know that we had health coverage <laughs> and. Other teachers back there, teachers, what grade, what grade? Junior high, oh. Uh, any kindergarten teachers? Kinder I, that was my favorite, kindergarten. I, although I was uh, invited to my class reunion from kindergarten recently, and I didn't want to go, because since kindergarten I've put on like 100 pounds. 